Hey Hornets, we're back again, uh, doing some more individuals here for you to get stuck into while you're there at home. Today we're going to be working on some finishing and footwork around the basket. Well, the first thing we're going to do is called the mic and drill. Many of you would have seen it, but what we want to emphasise today is just again the footwork and stepping through. So George is going to be here. We're going to step to our right, get there, catch it, step to the left hand. All right. Left foot, right hand, right foot, left hand. Let's get going. Good job. Try and get that rhythm going. So as you step through, as you catch the ball. Good job. And again, challenge yourself in this drill. If you're strong with your right hand, be determined to get strong with your left hand. Okay, once you've got the mic and drill down pat, you can do the reverse mic in, which is the step through using that off hand as we're coming under. So we're gonna step through the left foot to the right hand on the left hand side of the basket and vice versa going the other way. Again, the rhythm and the footwork is really important. So we step through, reverse layup, catch, step through, reverse layup. Might be pretty awkward, especially for our young athletes at first, but it's a bit of fun. And you can really get used to that touch around the basket doing this drill. Great drill to warm up, get that touch going. Okay, the next drill we're gonna do here is just working on our power layup. Again, the next step to finish. Footwork is so important around the basket, so this dribble will help you get that. So we're gonna start in stance. All right, down in stance, girls. Two power dribbles outside that foot, then it's a, just a step into the power layup, finish it. Key is feet towards the baseline, shoulders parallel with the backboard, up nice and strong. We'll just go one on the left, one on the right. Let's go, so two dribbles, power layup, two dribbles, Power layup, good. Get right in under that basket. Nice wide stance. Toes pointed at the back baseline, shoulders parallel with the backboard. Gain a really good drill to get that left hand going. Right, the next drill, we're just finishing around the basket, staying in with the power layup, but adding a little crossover. And then I like to call it a check dribble, but a pound dribble, whatever you want. So let's go. We're gonna start here, two dribbles out. Then a crossover, then a pound dribble in to a power layup. Once we add that to speed, you'll make it to the basket. So same thing on this side. We're gonna go two dribbles out, crossover, check dribble into a power layup. All right, let's do it at speed now. So we go out, crossover, check dribble, get yourself balanced, get it back to that pound layup. Good. Out, cross it over, check dribble, make the layup, good. Out there, cross it over, check dribble, into the power layup. It's a good little drill to add some, add a crossover inside the three point line. All right, next one is just the opposite of that. So we're gonna start a bit wider, attack the middle, cross it over, again a pound dribble to get into that power layup. So two hard dribbles to the middle, cross it over, pound dribble. It might feel like a lot of dribbles inside the key, but the the reason we do it is if we beat someone middle, we've beaten our player, someone comes to help, we might need to beat another player, then obviously that helps there, but our player might be chasing us. So we take that check dribble just to get balanced to be able to finish that layup strong. All right, let's go. Two dribbles middle, cross it over, check dribble, make the layup. Cross it over, check dribble, power layup, good. Middle, cross it over. Good job, cross it over. Good job. It's the same angles, we're gonna keep going on those angles, just adding a reverse pivot. So we'll just go middle, come to the middle. On our reverse pivot, again, help might come. What I wanna do is leave the ball there, turn our head before we see it, okay? You got that dribble out, then another pound dribble to finish the layup. Right. Power layup. Power layup. Let's get right in there. So go rip middle, reverse dribble, one more dribble to do it. Same thing coming that side there, drop step, power layup, finish it. Good job, make sure on that reverse pivot, you turn the head and see, the, see where you're going before you dribble out of it. All right, we're gonna do what we call X out layups. It's just something you do at the end of a, a, a session, 
especially if you've been doing finish, it basically gets as many layups as you can in make 10 or go for a minute. Go as hard as you can, make the layup back out to about the distance of the key. So obviously we've got a basketball court here. Um, we're just going to use the elbows. So let's go lay up out to the key. It's just a nice hard finish. Dribble it out hard. Get to the other side of the elbow. Cut in. We realise that you might not have a, a key drawn up at home, but just measure a distance. There's sort of one or two dribbles out. You get out, dribble, go in. You might have, go power laps. So if there's two of you at home, you still got the same time, but you just kind of try and miss each other. Let's go. Power lap in. Gain a good finisher drill. You get out. Again, to make it a bit of fun, you might make it a competition. First person to make 10 layups. Or who can make the most in a minute. Another finishing drill we've got here is just grabbing two basketballs, if you've got them there. You get to bounce the ball three times. Then you get to leave one ball behind and finish. We'll go with the right hand first. So again, we're standing here. One, two, three. Take the right hand ball and finish the layup. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, make the layup. Go back out. And then if we're confident enough, let's do that with the left hand. So one, two, three, take the left hand ball, finish. Then a progression of that will be to uh, carry both balls. So jump in, Chels. So we're here again, about on the hash mark or the under 12 free throw line. Three dribbles, you're going to carry both balls. You're going to finish with your right hand, then you come back and do it with your left hand. Again, this is probably for our older athletes. Three dribbles, put one ball, both balls under your arm, but finish with your right hand. Three dribbles, go. Yep, good. Go again, do that one again, go right hand again. One, two, three. Really think about footwork. Good. Now try left hand. So same thing, get back there. Three hard dribbles, step through, finish that left hand, good job. Again, one more quick finishing drill we've got here is start on the, about again, the elbow distance. Understand that not everyone has a key drawn up at home, but if you just pick out that distance, about, you know, a couple of dribbles away from the hoop, we're gonna start just scissor dribbling. Again, this might not be something you've ever done. Challenge yourself, have a bit of fun with it. When I say two, you'll be on the wrong foot. Or the right foot depends on which side you're on. Three. That's good. The reason you want to do that extra dribble is to get your footwork right. This is a challenge when your footwork's wrong to still be able to finish. Let's go. Three. Good. Three. Good. Let's go. Two. Good. One. Again, to make it a little bit easier than the scissor dribble for our young athletes, you can just start by wrapping the ball around your waist. So if we're wrapping the ball around their waist, the number I call, then you've got to step off. One. Your footwork should be right most of the times. This 